praises to Ahaya, Shur Ahaya, Bahashem Yeshaya, Wa Rawak. This is Shabbat Israel. And the Most High moved on my spirit to make this video, and He has restrained me from speaking a lot. I'm very patient, and as likewise, I obeyed the Most High and uh, refrained from teaching or refrain from. Uh, making certain videos, but time is so short. Uh, the spirit is moving on me as time is so short, very short to our uh, kingdom, or should I say restoration. Most people think they know a lot about me, and one thing that I hate and I despise is a cowardly man. And uh, as I reiterate over and over again, I've served in the I've served in the military and I know, uh, you know, certain lifestyles. And there have been times where I've been hungry and, um, you know, everybody has a story. And the thing is, I'm no coward. I despise cowards. And the issue I have been, um, or the certain cues that I have been picking up on with the GOCC uh, as far as people getting up and leaving uh, the daughter of Babylon, I myself have has left this country and I had to learn the hard way. The Most High sent me back. He called me to do his will and I'm going to do his will. And individuals wonder why the Most High has not provided a way from this place and is due to the fact that he has something for that specific individual or that he has a specific task for that individual to complete. I myself being a prophetess of the Most High, I have a specific calling as many of you do upon your life and I'm going to finish my calling. Uh, men and women often try to tell me what to do when that's not how it works. The Most High speaks to his prophetess and prophets and they tell the people what to do. It's not vice versa. So I have learned my lesson. Um, when I have traveled, you had people of our own nation refusing to even give me directions or things of that nature. This is how divided we are. And it's a shame. It's just simple things like that. The Most High are going to hold these people accountable. For he stated that, Yeshaya stated that, when I was hungry, did you give me something to eat? When I was thirsty, did you give me something to drink? Or if your brother or sister are, is hungry, would you, give, would you give them bread or stone? That's in the Bible. And the Most High is taking record of this. And people are, are going, especially Hebrews, we're going to give an account for that. So I myself, I will not pack up and leave until the Most High state so. And for what he showed me, he's chosen me. And you think I didn't know this? I knew this calling that was on my life to complete what he has called me to do in the daughter of Babylon. Men, especially you, Rakar, were so puffed up. That the Most High had to bring you down. I asked the Most High if he thinks that I'm getting too puffed up. I pray and I ask him to keep me more humble than I already am. That's that's how the Most High deal with his prophets and his prophetess and his teachers. And I'm sorry, Ricard. The Most High didn't call you to be a prophet. He called you to bring this gospel. And to teach his word. That's it. That's how it goes. And although I'm a woman, so be it. You're going to chastise the most high for doing so? And I didn't mean to deviate from my topic. But the point is that I will wait on Yeshaya. I will, I'm going to wait on a higher to give me direction. And they have given me direction. What's going to happen? So men want to jump start and go into that land or to the places of safety for a time because they want to take glory away from the Most High and His Son. And I'm not, I for one, will not do that. 
And always as a child, I always loved outdoors. I always, we all, we always dwelt in um, little booths outside, um, my sisters and I. And um, I'm not afraid of anything. I have held dying babies in my hand. I have held dying animals in my hand. Okay? People that I loved. So I'm not afraid of dying. I'm not afraid of change. But the Bible says that the fear of the Most High is the beginning of wisdom. I fear the Most High. And we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Most High. But I, for one, am working hard for my crown of life and will not let any man steer me away from that reward. And it's not that many people are afraid to leave this country. It's the Most High Spirit. When He says it's time, it's time. And, but guess what? You're not going to, this place will not go down without the Most High acknowledging who He raised up, His prophetess in His last days. Men will not take the glory away from the Most High. And I pray every day that the Most High do so, continue to do so. This is the most highest earth. This is Yeshua's kingdom. These are spirits. And I laugh at men who think they're going to jumpstart what the most high has declared from the, from the beginning. Men have lost their mind. And now I understand that when the Bible says that men will be walking after their own lust of the flesh. So the most high has not given us a spirit of fear but power and of a sound mind as I continue to stir up my gift in these last days. I will wait on the Most High. I will wait on Yeshua, even though the time is at hand. The Bible says, do not make haste in the time of trouble. And I've learned the hard way. And as always, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And for those who refuse to take part in the tree of life and to drink from the fountains of living water, let them be unjust still. And the bride say, Come, Isaiah, come, thy kingdom come. Amen.